Welcome to the Hunter Report. Today we're going to be doing real authentic cowboy chili with beer, chocolate, and coffee. Now what did cowboys have? Well, they had the trail, they had Mexico, which gets us to mole, and they definitely had coffee. So they really combined the things they had at hand, and it makes it actually something that's pretty tasty. Please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. All right, let's get down to it, Yeehaw! So this is what I call real chili, because it's made with chocolate, it is made with a robust porter. Porter usually means dark beer. And um, this is by Smutty Nose. And uh, it is known for its chocolatey and coffee flavors, which is exactly what we're doing. We're layering our chocolate. This is Cafe Bustello. It's especially for espresso. It has, a, it has a really great flavor for the price. So again, we're laying coffee, chocolate, and beer. And we're getting these layers going as many times as possible throughout the recipe. We have chipotle chilies, which um, are very smoky and provide an incredible flavor. Um, we have ancho chilies, which provide sweetness. And we have guajillo chilies, which just provide a little body and uh, just another dimension of chili flavor. We also want to round that out with a chili powder uh, that's chipotle flavored. And a little bit of cayenne. Ground cumin, onion powder, garlic powder, and oregano. Finally, in our meat department, we've got a uh, sausage, chuck steak that is stew meat, and I'm going to chop this a little finer, and d'artagnan chorizo, the good stuff. Hunt's fire roasted um, tomatoes, diced, which only complements the smokiness of the chipotles. And finally, uh, traditional style, refried beans. So let's get started. While your chilies are nice and dry, listen to that rattle. Make sure to de-seed them because once they're wet, they're a lot harder to de-seed. So we're gonna get all of our chilies soaking in water for about an hour till they get nice and soft. Medium dice of Italia onion. Medium dice. Let's get our meat cut up. This is uh, tough stew meat. So let's get it cut up into, uh... all right, so uh, cubes like that size is what we're looking for. And then uh, make sure you get a lot of pepper on there. Take the meat, chop the meat, <coughs> brown the meat, down the meat. Look at that, we've got great caramelization going on, and now we're just gonna add it right to our onions. Much cleaner pan so we can get to frying up our meat in tube form. A little bit of olive oil. All right, let's do our spices. Cumin powder, tablespoon and a half of oregano, tablespoon of garlic powder, Tablespoon chipotle pepper, this real nice smoky stuff. Tablespoon onion powder. Let's get that going. Right into the mix there. Taking our soaked chilies, they're nice and soft. Let's get them in the food processor, grind them up. All right, so we've chopped up our peppers, add a little bit of water, because we're making a paste to lubricate. Now that's a real nice consistency. Now let's cut up our tubular meat into nice bite-sized pieces. I've brewed some coffee. We're just gonna add it right in. Hunt's tomatoes, refried beans, smutty nose, robust porter, and of course, Lint's chocolates. <clears throat> About four of these bad boys. So finish off your chili with some green <coughs> onions, and cheddar cheese. Why not goldfish and caviar on a blini? Oh, and look at this. Here's the goldfish. Welcome, welcome to the Hunter Report. Now there's two things I wanna talk about today, two things that I love, goldfish and saving money. And I have found the perfect solution and the place to make that happen. It's called amazon.com. Amazon has this new service called Amazon Pantry. Um, and they actually make you fill up your box. They say like, well, we're gonna charge you $6 for the shipping, um, and uh, you get like this many items that you're allowed to put in for the $6. So I said, well, why don't I max out uh, my goldfish? Um, because I have burned through a lot of goldfish, as you're about to see. Um, and so why don't I get as many goldfish as possible into this box so that I can save you know, on, on the shipping? Let's see what, what, what the box holds. 